This week on George to the Rescue. I'm so grateful that you're here. And the fact that you're here just says so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sandy. I'm excited. Let's, let's get to work. That's, I didn't even. Originally, all we were gonna do was a facelift in this bathroom. Take off the old tile, put up some new tile. As you can see. What happened? It, we got the tile going down in the kitchen. The bathroom's coming along. What's not good? The closets. I want you to go and yeah, just address the closet. Do your design thing, your magic. This is your apartment. I'm done with it, I'm done with it. Seriously? It's all yours. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say except I cannot wait. Holy moly. <laughs> Hi, I'm George Oliphant, and this week's rescue email comes from Debbie in the Bronx, New York. She wrote in for her sister Sandy, who is a passionate first grade teacher with unwavering dedication to her students. Now Sandy has conquered cancer, but unfortunately the treatments have left her unable to have children of her own. She now devotes all of her time and extra funds towards being the best teacher she can, which has left her home improvement projects on the back burner. Well, I'm here to make sure that those home improvement projects get done. I wanted to write into the show because I think my sister is amazing in what, what she represents and I feel like that's strength. Someone who truly cares and loves people in general and she just would give the shirt off of her back to do anything for anyone and I just feel like she deserves for something nice to happen to her, or somebody to do something nice for her because she's always doing something nice for others. Hello, Sandy? Oh my God. Hi, how are you? Oh my God. I'm George Oliphant. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh my God. Oh my God. How are you? I mean. <laughs> I mean, if it's, is it all right that I'm here? No. No, I'm not. I think that's the best reaction I've ever gotten. Wow. Two years ago in June, I got the, the news that I had endometrial cancer, which is cancer of the uterine walls. So, as a result of this type of cancer and the surgery, I, uh, I will not have the chance to have children. <laughs> Coming to terms with not being able to have my own children when I teach children, that was tough. So now I've been in remission and uh, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling actually better than ever before. I feel so blessed. Being in remission is miraculous to me. I mean, that's just a miracle. In this apartment, I've been here for approximately 22 years. You know, it's funny. I get so consumed by school sometimes and by all the funding that I put towards it that, and it sounds really strange, but for the past 22 years, I mean, there are rooms that I have not touched and the wallpaper has turned color. The vanity is no longer in the bathroom. Some of the walls are crumbling a bit. The floors are just horrendous and squeaking but I have to say I'm in a good space. That's for sure. And I'm ready to be rescued. <laughs> oh. oh my God, you're actually in my house. I, I am actually in your house. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you're here. And the fact that you're here just says so much. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sandy. I'm excited, let's, let's get to work, jeez. Oh my God. So uh, yeah, so. if you can tell, I'm, I'm here to rescue your house. Yeah. I'm here to do some uh, some home improvement that I I'm understand so is is much needed. Yes, much needed. It's been quite a long time. 
Work with me on this rescue, one of my favorite design experts, <laughs> Courtney Cache. So glad to have you here. What's going on, George? Well, we got a rescue on our hands. A big one, it seems. This is Sandy's apartment, and uh, she dedicates all of her time, her energy, her money to her classroom and to her kids in the classroom. And uh, as you've seen, this apartment, it needs some TLC. So we've got a kitchen. We've got a kitchen. A bathroom. A bathroom, a home office, and a bedroom. And as usual, we have We have no time. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Woo. Yeah, right? We definitely need some paint. Look at cheerful, happy. I think we need to make a few phone calls and get some guys in here and you're gonna lead the way. So. I'm gonna lead the way. I'm gonna lead the charge. <laughs> you and me together, we're you a team. You got it, okay. All right? Excited. Oh. All right, let's get to work. For color, inspiration, and so much more, visit a Benjamin Moore store. To locate a Benjamin Moore store near you, log on to BenjaminMoore.com. We got our guys from Anthony's Rubbish Removal here to help us with demolition. Looks like we got our trash can and our tools. Let's get to work. I am really curious to know what's going on back in my apartment. I really like it here, but I've been feeling as though I'm really missing home. So I really would love to know what's going on. I'm pretty confident that everybody's doing an amazing job and I'm sure I'll cry no matter what. That's, I didn't I'm even. We came in here, there was no sink. You could tell that the bathroom was definitely in bad shape. Took off the vanity, and what it was just covering was a sea of problems. I mean, these walls literally are paper thin. Literally are paper thin. You see that? That's the other room. This place is disgusting. This bathroom is not a one-man job. I'm gonna need some help. So I put in a call to my friend Matt Wendorf. Hopefully he can help uh, rescue the rescue. George! I'm home! Hey, hey, Matt! Yeah, take it all in. What did you get yourself into here? You, you would have thought that I came in here with like a bulldozer. Did you take out the sledgehammer again? I didn't even use a sledgehammer. Do you see how thick that wall is? Dude, I can see outside. These walls are paper thin. Oh, look at this bird's nest. Yeah. I watch love yourself. it. Yeah, watch yourself. Is that there. live? Yeah, that's live. Oh, nice. Yeah. Looks like they must have had some water damage. You think? Yeah, look at all this. Yeah. Originally, all we were going to do was a facelift in this bathroom. Take off the old tile, put up some new tile. As you can see. What happened? It, <laughs> Have you ever, ever heard of painting? Right? Yeah, I know. Just Next time, I'm just going to paint the entire thing. Just paint the whole thing. Obviously, this has got to come down. Right? we got to prepare these walls for tile. That's what I mean, we have. This is, looks like a bomb shelter. Well, we get this wall down first. OK. You get the wall down, I'll go find the electrician, and we'll get these things taken care of. Hey, I'm glad to have you on the rescue, Endorf. Oh, anytime, buddy. Well, the scope of work in the bathroom changed in the fact that it's not just a facelift, not just putting on new tile and adding a, a new vanity or a, or a new pedestal sink and, and, and toilet. It now entails putting in new walls, got renovating it, which in the end is actually better for the apartment. So uh, I'm happy with it. I, uh, I don't like just covering things up. I don't like just fixing things with spit and glue. So uh, I'm happy that we had a few worms in the, in the can because it's going to make the house better in the long run. When I walked into that bathroom and I saw George and the sweat coming down his head, I knew it wasn't because he was working. This is the kind of construction that nobody wants to deal with and nobody wants to be faced with. George made a good call inside. He said, you know, look, this wall isn't doing so hot. I'm going to take it down. And that's the best thing that could happen. Now we're gutting that bathroom and getting it ready for sheetrock. That kitchen and bathroom are a disaster. I gotta go meet Courtney at Food Tile so we can start the rebuilding process. Oh, 
Oh, Cordy, I'm so glad that you started without me. <laughs> oh, why? What's wrong? It has just been a nightmare over at the apartment, but don't worry, everything oh, no. is good now. Okay. We uh, actually have probably made it more safe and sound than it ever was before. New walls, it's ready for tile, so we are, we're right on course. I've been here, I've been taking a look around. Okay. So I'm thinking something like a brown and a gray to play off all those stainless appliances we have, look really pretty. Some for the kitchen. Yeah, and then a little glammy touch, I have some ideas. Okay. And then for the bathroom, something just really white and modern and clean, but then we could accent it with something really cool. Because like there are girls living there, there are yeah. girls, you know, you want to get bring some sort of flair. Exactly. And we, we're doing with the floor and what, some sort of decorative trim in there? Yeah, I'm thinking like a chair rail, something with some glass tiles, and something just really cool and fun and that designer touch like only we can do. Let's look around, see okay. what we can find. All right, now, so now I'm gonna load everything up, put it in the car, head back to the apartment, start getting this tile on the wall and on the floors, and uh, I'll see you there. We have finally gotten everything out of this bathroom except for the tub. Next step, let's prep for tiling. All right, you ready for this? I guess so. I mean, I know you've seen some bad bathrooms, but this is definitely the worst I've ever seen. Should I leave and come back later? Well, it's too late now. <laughs> this is it. Wow, this is a good one, George. There's no chance we could just lay tile over this, is there, George? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I guess we have some major work. We have to put up some wallboard, do some framing. Looks like we may have to uh, level or cement the floor. A lot of preparation work before we even get to tile. Let me go get the guys and see what we can work together for you. All right, so it's finally time to start framing this room up the right way. What we got is we have pressure treated wood, which is mold and mildew resistant. Put these in every 16 inches centered and uh, we should be good to go. As if we didn't have enough drama on this rescue already, we now have 10 minutes to switch out our plumbing fixtures. Because in this building, the only way to get something shut off is to shut off all the water for the entire building. We gotta get this stuff out ASAP. How we doing, Matt? Uh, is our 10 minutes up yet? <laughs> I think we got a small extension, but uh, we're, we're in overtime. We're getting there. We're, we're in overtime. There. We're halfway there. We got one pipe on, we got one to go, and then we could actually turn the water back on. We won't need to, we won't have the diverter finished, All right. but at least we'll have the water sealed so we can turn the system back on, energize everybody else. Perfect. He's the man. Courtney, I told you when we were at Fuda Tile that construction was in full swing. As you can see, uh, I wasn't lying. I'm speechless. But it's coming along great. We got the tile going down in the kitchen, the bathroom's coming along. What's not good? The closets. That is, it's, it's overwhelming to me. So you want me to fix the closet? I want you to go and yeah, just address the closet. Work Do your design, design thing, your magic, whatever the Courtney Cache mm. closet, that you it's yours. How bad is it? Why don't you go see? Okay, it's, I'll be back. Oh my god. Okay. A lot of work to do. Oh, she <laughs> Why, and what does she have in here? Rocks? Oh. All right, Becky Newman. Hi, George. Building our closets. How you yeah, doing? Fine, how are you? I'm good, and I'm actually better because you're here because we have all this stuff in here plus the master bedroom. A lot of stuff we got to get organized. I'm uh, ready to get my hands dirty, so what can I do to help? Well, we're going to install hanging in both closets. We're tripling our hanging space. We're going to give her baskets and drawers and shelves. Just plenty of storage for all of her stuff, which Trust she me. has a lot of. Yes, these are all things she needs. All right, so uh, I saw some boxes right in the front. I'll help you load them in. Okay, wonderful. These closets are definitely going to make Sandy more organized, but what she's got to stop doing is spending all of her extra cash decorating her classroom. So I'm going to head over to Office Depot with her friend and fellow teacher Tina, and we're going to make sure that she has all the supplies she'll need so she doesn't have to buy anything next year.
Valentina, how are you? So nice to meet you. Thanks for meeting me here. So uh, we got to get some stuff for Sandy. Absolutely. I want to make sure that she's not dipping into her own pocket to buy school supplies anymore. Good. Or to decorate her classroom. Good. I figured you're a friend of her to school. You're, you teach the grade above her. You would know Absolutely. like who her students are, what she's like, and what we can get for her. Well, I have a list here. Oh, nice. Good, and because I actually have a gift card from Office Depot, so it's all taken care okay, of. Okay, wonderful. Nice. So the first items on the list are cleaning solutions. She keeps her classroom immaculately clean. That's the kind of classroom I want for my kids. No germs, no sick kids. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get some cleaning solutions, and we'll see if we can find sticky pads, pencils. Wow, we do have a long Tape, list. a little bit. Let's start downstairs work our okay. way up. All right. All right. Looking upon Sandy as she went through her treatment actually gave me and her other colleagues a lot more strength for life. I am so honored to meet up with George today to, to shop for Sandy, for her kids, for the classroom. Um, it was the least I can do for such a phenomenal woman. Tina, thank you so much for coming shopping with me. I was so happy to do it. Well, now I gotta get back to Sandy's apartment and get everything finished up. Okay. So on any construction site, the two biggest projects, bathroom, and kitchen. And in this particular kitchen, we're actually keeping our cabinets, but you said there's a way that we can give them a whole new look. Yeah, Benjamin Moore came out with a new paint. It's called Advance. It's, it's made for cabinets. It comes out really nice. And it would take this, you know, tacky Formica look away and give it a true, like, wood look, like a cabinet look. In this business, there is no place to sacrifice quality of work, but also we don't have the time to go coat after coat after coat with our paint. Benjamin Moore Aura is your best friend for that reason. It's self-priming, it goes on quick, two coats is all it takes, and because it's low VOC, you can paint all day and never get one of those headaches from all the fumes. We've got our Silestone countertops here for Sandy's Kitchen with the help from my friends at Moorestone. We're gonna get them installed. Kenny, I can't tell you how excited I am when the My Guy appliance truck shows up with all the stuff we have for Sandy's kitchen. It's always an exciting day when you have new appliances for a kitchen. Today we have a range, an over-the-range microwave, a dishwasher, and a refrigerator. I hope our new refrigerator is a little bit smaller than what she had in there before. The new refrigerator is going to be about eight inches shallower, so now she's going to have plenty of room to walk around. You notice this? You got a tight kitchen, you need strong guys. That's why I got these two characters here. These Kenny shades are great because they're gonna give Sandy that privacy she wants without making her room feel like a cave. We give out tips and we tell people what color to paint their room and what throw you should have on your bed. But at the end of the day, it's not really about the home, right? It's more about the person. As a mom of two young children, seeing a teacher as dedicated as Sandy, I found just incredibly heartwarming. And I felt that it was actually my honor to do something for her. Feeling good, the job is done. Let's go get Sandy and Deb. Know someone in need of a rescue? Send us an email at george at nbc.com. It took a lot of good people working really hard, but I'm happy with the result. I certainly hope Sandy and Deb are. Hey, how are you guys? Hey, great, how are you? Welcome home. Oh my God. Excited? I'm so totally excited. Look at it. I am so excited. I'm totally This is your apartment. Ready. I'm, I'm done totally with it. I'm done with it. Seriously? It's all yours. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say except I cannot wait. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! You can't help but, but love Sandy. She survived cancer like so many others have. She's a first grade teacher and I just remember how important all of my teachers were in forming who I am as a man from first grade on, and she does that for countless students year in, year out. Yeah, we had to sweat through a lot of problems in this rescue, but it was all worthwhile because it was for her. All right, guys, wow. let's head right to the kitchen. Right, right. to the kitchen. All right, oh ready? Goodness. Take oh it all in. This is just phenomenal. This is, oh my God, everything is brand new. This is just, this in itself is a dream come true. As I like to say, this is just the tip of the iceberg. 
the tip of the iceberg. You want to see the rest? There's more. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. All right. Shall I, we? I, yes, let's do this. All right. We got three doors, all right? Let's okay. start with the first one and work our way around. Okay. All right? Ready. You remember what that bathroom looked like, right? Go on in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Another hug? Is it time for another hug? <laughs> this is insanity. You still have two more doors. You ready? <sighs> I'm ready. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Try not to pass out. Don't pass out. I got you. Okay. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god! So we have one more room. You guys ready to see it? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm Excited. ready. The guest room slash home office. Oh my huh. goodness. I'm ready to see it. Okay. I'm ready. Oh my Let, god. Let's do it. One, two, two, three. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy moly! <laughs> I mean, talk about extreme. This is just ridiculous. George, you rescued me. You, forget it. Rescue is an understatement. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's amazing. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> oh my God, it's totally real. <laughs> it looks spectacular. It looks so gorgeous. The fact that there are people such as yourselves, everyone who was involved, the fact that you exist, okay, says something about humanity and says something about what was put into this apartment. And I even went shopping with your friend Tina. Oh yeah? From school. And so we went to Office Depot and we got you pretty much everything oh. we could find. <laughs> Because I don't want you paying you for kidding? any more school supplies. What? This is all for your classroom. This isn't for the house, it's for your classroom. Oh I understand goodness. that notepads are very important oh my goodness. when it comes to first oh graders. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Thank you so much. Binders, construction paper, tissue, cleaning oh supplies, dry erase wow. board markers. Oh my god. Your <laughs> favorite Oh thing. my goodness. Because I don't want you oh to have to Look pull from this. your own pocket to pay for school this supplies. This is insane. I am feeling very overwhelmed. I feel as though I am just very blessed. I, I don't know how this happened to me. I really don't. But uh, I definitely feel like I am very blessed. Sandy, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It was my pleasure, and I'm so happy to have come to your rescue. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you all.